It's a really interesting time to be a developer on Twitter today. And when you start paying attention to some of the patterns that you see, you start noticing some really unique people out there. But as a developer, at the end of the day, Twitter can be a really great place. You can meet a lot of really interesting people, you can land jobs and consulting opportunities, and you can really learn a lot of interesting stuff. But like many algorithms, the Twitter algorithm can be gamed. So let's look at how to game the Twitter algorithm. Tip number one, ask open-ended questions. Even if you give zero fucks about the question itself or the answers from your followers. A few good examples of an open-ended question are, what is your favorite programming language? What framework is better, Vue, Angular, or React? Are you working on something cool? Post a link to it below. Or my personal favorite, do you breathe while coding? Asking people these open-ended questions tricks them into thinking that you care what they think, driving more engagement, more visibility, and ultimately more followers. Tip number two, never say anything original or unique. Instead, find things that other people have said or done successfully and just copy them. For example, find popular jokes like, tell me you're a developer without telling me you're a developer, and use them relentlessly until everyone logging into Twitter hates you and ultimately mutes you. This is great because anyone that mutes you is probably a hater anyway and you don't need that negativity in your life. Tip number three, turn every fucking thing that you can possibly say into a thread. Turn a basic Google search into a thread and hype it up as if it was something revolutionary. All you really need to do is string a bunch of random shit together using the following formula. Include a profession, a thing, and a number. Threads like, how to become a full stack developer in eight steps. Roadmap to becoming a full stack developer in 2021. Or, 250 JavaScript resources for becoming a full stack developer are all great choices. Overload them with shit to learn so they have no time to follow anyone else on Twitter. Tip number four, fuck hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are a fundamental part of any web page. They create paths for people to travel, not only across Twitter, but the entire World Wide Web, right? Wrong. Wrong. Do we care about people and actually helping them learn something new? Absolutely not. What we care about is engagement. Forcing people to click on our tweet, highlight the text, open up a new browser, and then paste in the text is the ultimate boss move. Sure, it helps you get more engagement, but more importantly, it sends a message. It says that I give zero fucks about you, but you are still following me and you will continue to follow me. Remember, it's not about helping other people, it's about helping ourselves. Tip number five, turn it into a pyramid scheme. Find 10 or 20 other like-minded developers to collaborate with and turn it into a multi-level marketing scheme. Whenever they post something, don't even look at what they post. Just go ahead and post a comment like, great content, keep it up, or very useful. Remember, being a genuine human being is overrated and instead you should follow the guidelines here. Tip number six, create a new Twitter header and then tweet relentlessly about having made a new Twitter header. The more people that open up your Twitter profile, the more views that you will get, and ultimately you will be picked up more often by the Twitter algorithm giving you more engagement. Instead of coming up with thoughtful stuff to talk about driving a meaningful conversation, update your Twitter header every day, but be sure to never actually tweet out the header itself. Instead, tweet out that you've actually changed the header and force the people to go and look into your profile themselves. Now there's a bunch of other shit that I could talk about, but I'm kind of tired, so this is going to be it for today. So look out for a part two or a part three coming sometime in the future.